Welcome back to Nippon Art Program. My name is Honjo Satoko. Please call me Sophie. I will be your art interpreter. I'm the founder of Creative Journey Japan, an independent travel agency in Tokyo. Today, I'm at Nagai Art Gallery in Ginza. Let me introduce the owner of this gallery, Mr. Nagai Ryunosuke. Hello, everyone. The lady next to me is the artist of today, Li Yan. Hello, which can? In this program, I would like to invite you to join me as I navigate through the world of Japanese art, I'd rather say Nippon art. Nippon means Japan in Japanese. I hope you will discover more about the artist and their works and develop an appreciation for the rich world of Nippon art that has not been as accessible up until now. I'm an art lover, but still so much to learn when it comes to Nippon art. I hope all of you enjoy these videos and learn along with me. The master of modern monochrome ink painting, Li Yang. Conscious and unconscious, monochrome ink in color. Ms. Li Yang has lived in Tokyo, Japan for over 35 years. She is a traditional ink painter from China. She is a self-taught artist, while her husband is a distinguished Chinese calligrapher. She has a deep understanding of traditional monochrome ink painting. At the same time, she has been experimenting with introducing color into her works. She uses Japanese washi paper, which has its own unique qualities and attributes. Her fresh and rich sense of color in her monochrome ink in color, Conscious and Unconscious series, personifies modern ink painting. Where is this charm born? What does conscious and unconscious mean? What Ms. Liang wants to capture in her works is the boundary between consciousness and unconsciousness. In this context, consciousness happens during new discoveries and new experiences, while unconsciousness comes from skills cultivated through experience. Let me explain it first. She has a flash inspiration for creating something. This is a conscious experience. Her mind is very active in thinking about this new idea. Then she starts creating and painting using techniques so familiar she does it subconsciously, relying on her instincts and muscle memory. This is an unconscious experience. While she is painting, Unexpected reactions on the washi paper and the interactions between the water and the colors happen. There she discovers something new, awakening her consciousness. She then returns to focusing on creating what she wants, relying on her skill from years of experience and unconscious state until she succeeds in creating what she has in her mind. For her, Moving between consciousness and unconsciousness is how she experiences life. And her art gives us a window into her way of perceiving the world. I feel this is a secret to the depths of her works. In the late 90s, Ms. Li Yan relocated to Tokyo from Beijing when she was in her 20s. This was soon after the normalization of relations between China and Japan in 1972, and it was in the middle of the Japanese economic miracle. She said that she worked at the bakery in the morning, at lunchtime at a Chinese restaurant, and Japanese izakaya in the evening for at least three years. I could imagine how tough it would have been working all day in a different culture. However, during this experience, she mastered observing her surroundings. She learned to sense things consciously in life while working abroad, and this has become a big part of her art. Ms. Liang has completed a new series of ink paintings, which she calls monochrome ink in color. How to express art is borderless, and its interpretation ultimately comes from the viewer not the artist. However, what she wants is clear. 
She wants to harmonize the black ink with colors. That is her own original style and her eternal theme. はい、それではあの作品のねここに紹介をしたいと思います。こちらの作品これユイにという作品ですね。はい。This work is uh, uh, not number two. この作品がモスピート用をタイトルですから。あの一番最終時期があの発送する日本機ってばかりで、えー、とお礼の袋に外の,あのモスビーの糸であの水引きという言い方でそれでなぜそんなに美しいですかなどこから考えてるのね私の絵の中に入れるかなってどういうふうに入れるかなってそれでずっとに素直に考えて考えてやって。人があのコロナの間にがあの暇があってそれでそれが数度に悩んでのなぜというと簡単そうに見えると一番難しいところですから。She's inspired by the Japanese culture、uh, the not mizuhiki on the envelope and、uh, it seems very easy but it was very difficult. えーとえー、とまず、えー、とどういうふうに構図があの入れる決まるで、ま、丸くあの一番スタート大事のところですからあの墨と和紙でにじむが大あの、まあ、もちろんの当たり前のことでにじむスキルと、まあ、丸いの形が崩れますのでえっ、ー、とにじまないとつまらないしえっ、ー、とそういうことを考えながら芝居に重ねてがあの雇ってきたの一枚の作品。So um she has painted for three four times、uh, in a different paper. The paper is washi paper, so it is very difficult、uh, when you ink、um, the ink is on the washi paper and it reacts. Uh, valiously. So the balance between the ink and washi paper was very difficult part. So let's see the price for this. こちらの作品はこれ額付きで120万円ですね。1200,000 yen. はい、えー、次がですね、こちら、えー、山水という作品ですね。This work, Shansui. まあ、この作品が、えー、とやっぱりパッて見る中国スタイルであの伝統的の山水の,あの,なんかあの山と構図なのであの下の方が岩の塊があの集まっていて上が山らしいの模様出てますと。で This work、um, was inspired by the、uh, traditional Chinese、uh, Shansui、uh, landscape, the mountain view. でも今回の方が構図がやっぱりあの伝統的にの構図で守っていてで真ん中の方が昔伝統的にの木とかあの生えてて何本とか木を生えてて上と下がつながりが木が生えての基本です。コンポジション Uh, is the very traditional style of Chinese、uh, Shan's way. The rocks are here, mountains here, and in the middle, the forests are here. But i m p r e s s i o n is not very traditional. で、えー、と私、まあ、あの今まで書いたのその通りに書きますと、まあ、つまらないところに聞いてでどういうふうにあのお互いにつながりで表現すると。であの長期さんの作品に見たら、ね、いろいろって見て検討しながらあこういうふうに省略で大事ですからでどういうものに省略しますと交換がどういうふうに表現します I, I tried to make it the traditional Chinese c h a n s w a y style but、um, I found it, it is very important to、uh, simplify the style as simple as possible 今話が出たあの中国出身でフランスで活躍をされていたザオウーキーね、ザオウーキーのイメージです。Um, the, the Chinese artist、uh, in France, ザオウーキー、the style. その
長期さんの影響であのやっぱり省略が大事ですからその省略のそのまま紙の一枚じゃなくて廃棄のイメージに大事に、えー、と表現するがそれが今回の作品の特徴ですからで真ん中の方が何にもないに見えるでも実際がいろんなものが生えてるからそれで。あの交換が集めて表現しますという作品一枚の作品です。So to try to simplify the work itself, and you see the you may find the spaces here and there, but if you take a closer look,、um, you can see the details of the mountains and the trees. So let's see the price for that. えこちらの作品は八十万円ですね。Eight hundred thousand yen. はい、えー、こちら、えー、紹介する最後の作品ですね。ハスの作品です。This is the last piece, the title, Lotus. えっとこの作品が書くの結構前の作品で、えっ、ー、と今回が掘り出してって出てきたんですよね。で、This is the piece from 2012. で、えっ、ー、とよくハスが書きますと、これがあの抽象じゃなくてパって見ててもハスのあの花とみんなそういうふうに思ってますと。So I like、uh, drawing、uh, lotuses.、Um, this is not abstract. You, as you can see, they look like lotus flowers. で、あのよく中国人の絵の中に表現するの、新しいのものが新鮮のものじゃなくて、ちょっとと少し借りてのものが面白さが表現しますと例えば今回の絵の花の方が枯れてて,てあの擦れちゃうという面白さがありますと。Um, so the flower, the lotus、uh, is not in bloom, so it's going to、uh, wither,、um, so it's rather more interesting than seeing the best time of the flower. 人もそうですし、植物もそうですね。生命がある時期があの終わっていて、終わるじゃなくて、終わらないと新しいの方が出てこないからって、そういう表現のそういう意味で、あのよくハスの方がこういう信念に、あこういうなんかあの思い出でで書いたの作品で。The cycle of the life is、uh, eternal. So once Dies but reborn. So I wanted to express the circle of the life itself. Okay, so let's see the price for this. This one is also 800,000 yen. Any question about Nippon art is welcome. You can purchase all the works introduced in these videos. Please contact us. The link to Nagai Art Gallery is posted down there. And don't forget to read Sophie's Nippon Art Book on Creative Journey Japan too. 最後までご視聴いただきありがとうございました。チャンネル登録をよろしくお願いします。Thank you very much for watching the video clip. Nippon Art, please subscribe it. 次の動画もお楽しみに。